Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to discuss a very important topic for the viva question as well as exam point of view that is Hanau's hint. I will try to discuss this topic in an easier way to memorize it. Let's begin. In 1925, Rudolf L. Hanau, he presented a discussion paper entitled Articulation Defined, Analyzed and Formulated. And the articulation of the artificial teeth was related to nine factors. So, mainly there are nine factors in relation to the articulation of artificial teeth. They are horizontal contilar inclination, compensating curve, retrusive incisal guidance, plane of orientation, buccolingual inclination of tooth axis, sagittal condylar pathway, sagittal incisal guidance, tooth alignment and relative cuspid. So these are the nine factors which is related to the articulation of artificial teeth. Hanno combined these original nine factors and reduced them to five factors that is Hanno's pinch. So which are the factors? Contilar guidance, incisal guidance, cusp height inclinations, inclination of the occlusal plane and the curvature of the occlusal surfaces. So these are the five factors of Hanau that contribute to the Hanau squinch. Okay, so which are the factors? Contilar guidance, incisal guidance, cusp height inclinations, inclination of the occlusal plane and curvature of the occlusal surfaces. So these are very important factors which affect the balanced articulation. Okay. So this is Hanau's squint. What is that? This is the inclination of plane of orientation, inclination of contella guidance, prominence of compensating curve, height of curve and incisor guidance. So these are the factors which contributes to the Hanau's squint. So that are the Hanau's factors or that contributes to Hanau's squint. Thielman, he subsequently simplified Hanau's factors in a formula for balanced articulation. So that formula is that K into I by OP into C into OK. What does this term refers? K is contilar guidance, I is incisal guidance, C is cusp height inclinations, OP is the inclination of the occlusal plane and OK is the curvature of the occlusal surfaces. So that is the Thielman's formula. What is that? K into I by OP into C into OK. Contilar guidance, incisal guidance, cusp height, Inclinations, inclination of the occlusal plane and compensating curves. And this is the Hanau sketch. I will try to discuss this in an easier way to memorize it. That is, in this picture, it shows plane of orientation, contilar guidance, compensating curves, incisor guidance and cusp height. Okay. So, according to this formula, K into I by OP into C into OK. That is contilar guidance into incisor guidance by cusp height inclinations into inclination of occlusal plane into curvature of the occlusal surfaces. So, if the contilar guidance inclination increases, then the incisor guidance decreases and the other factors increases. That is cusp height, plane of orientation and curves. So, compensating curve increases. So, if the contilar guidance increases, the incisor guidance decreases. And the cusp height increases, plane of orientation increases and the compensating curve increases. If the compensating curve increases, then the contilar guidance and the incisor guidance increases and the cusp height and the plane of orientation decreases. Okay. So this arrow mark which shows increases and uh, this arrow mark which shows decreases. When the height of cusp increases, then 
the plane of orientation and the curves decreases and the condylar arch incisive gyrans increases and inclination of the incisive gyrans increases then the condylar gyrans decreases and other factors that is cuspid compensating curves and the plane of orientation increases and inclination of the plane of orientation increases then the curves then cuspid decreases and the incisal and the condylar gyrans increases so this is about the hanaus kind in combination with the thielmans formula okay that's all for today's lecture thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe for more videos